so simple, so beautiful. Yes, we're talking about the FRNet. FRNet is a field bus developed by ICP DAS. It features high speed and long distance data transmission and is designed for digital I.O. control. Most importantly, only two wires are needed to transmit data, making FRNet itself in the field simple and beautiful. Now ICP DAS has more than 20 kinds of modules supporting FRNet. Let's check out more of its unique features and actual applications in building automation. On the first floor, ICP DAS FRNet modules play an important role in the cubic parking system. They help to ensure cars are parked precisely in the correct positions. Once a car is parked out of the edge, a sensor will be activated. An alarm will be sent to the driver until the car moves into the correct position. Let's go to the second floor. On the second floor, a smoking room on the right hand side features independent air conditioning. A smoke detector in the corner sends signals to the FRNet module when it detects smoke. The fan is turned on as soon as the FRNet module receives the signal from the smoke detector. On the third floor, the FRNet module controls the on-off function of the lights in the meeting room. With instant respond time, the FRNet module has excellent performance in the digital control application. On the top floor, the status of windows and doors are monitored by the FRNet module. When any window or door is opened, the FRNet module will instantly detect it and send its status to the control center in real time Through the nature of FRNet, data is sent through two wires. Imagine that! Throughout the whole building, from the first FRNet module to the last, only two wires are needed. FRNet makes installation simple and neat. Shown on the left here, I-7188EF-016 is an embedded controller with FRNet ports. It receives data from FRNet modules and sends data to the control center through Ethernet communication. We can see detailed information coming from all of the FRNet modules in the building on remote computers. Replacing FRNet modules is as easy as playing with Legos. Replacement has four steps. First, unmount the broken one. Then, mount a new one. Then connect the terminal blocks with the new module. Then set the dip switch on its panel. Believe me, everything is done and the new FRNet module is working now. Thanks to ICP DOS engineers, many user-friendly designs have been added to FRNet module's panels. There are three LEDs at the top of the panel. The last one, Error indicates incorrect wiring or bad communication in the field. This design helps users to locate problems easily on the spot. At the bottom of the panel, there's a dip switch for configuration. No computer or laptop is needed. Just by moving your fingers, the FRNet module is ready to work. The embedded controller I-7188EF-016 has two FRNet ports to handle data from FRNet modules. Up to 16 FRNet modules can be connected with I-7188EF-016 simultaneously. Users can also write their own programs for I-7188EF-016 to control the FRNet modules.